mashed potatoes with guys we're gonna make some mashed potatoes honey bee hawk if you see anything you like be sure to hit that like button thumbs up thumbs up the video guys if you like something in the video Okay guys, so we got getting the burgers ready here. So we got a couple of them already. Already ready. Like this one. <laughs> Let's see. So we're gonna have some burgers. We're gonna have a couple of burgers. And we're gonna have gravy. So we have hamburgers. For those who don't like gravy, here's your hamburger. Here's my potatoes I'm cutting up. A little bit of onion to make my mashed potatoes. Well, okay guys, so now I got um, my onions here. I'm making my gravy. Onions are ready to come out of here. Go ahead and get that right on. Okay, keep them in the bowl. Just put the thing right here, guys. Go pass it over. There we go. Got the same. Take some of this green salt and dispose of it, and then we're going to go ahead and put our um, gravy coming out. Put the top of gravy. You guys can see the pot back here boiling. Well, you see all the all of the um, burgers are ready, as you can see here. There's a total of ten burgers here, and here all cooked and ready. So now we're going to turn the, put y'all on pause. And I'll pan them out. So we'll yeah, just put it all in. <laughs> and I don't need that much, but I didn't want to put it back in the thing. <laughs> All right, guys. So now we got our gravy getting ready. Okay, and while that's happening, 
going to go ahead and tend to my, oops, sorry, I'm bumping up against stuff. Well, my pot back here is saying it's ready to come off, so. <laughs> oh my God, yes, and these are, and that's finished, so we're going to turn that burner off. Yeah, okay, guys, so, and of course, you know, this has been ready. Burgers been ready. So now, guys, we just gotta get the gravy straight and get the make the mashed potatoes. And we'll be doing the we'll be doing the mashed potatoes. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take this pot off because this is ready. Check this out. There we go. Getting ready, we're gonna go ahead and make our mashed potatoes, guys. Okay, so I drained this in the uh, sink there, and now we got our potatoes and onions to make our mashed potatoes. <laughs> Well, <laughs> yep, I would say so, definitely. <laughs> that is definitely ready to put the water and the uh, onion in. So we already got the fried onions already. You guys seen me do that earlier. There they are. And we're going to go ahead and pour them right in there. Okay. Two cups of water there. Yeah, guys. <coughs> so we put at least two cups of water. Probably gonna come back with a third cup of water because we definitely in there. Wish we didn't need that much, but still, that's all right. So while that's doing this thing, somewhat. Then I go ahead and put the seasonings that's going to go in the gravy and the seasonings that's going to go in the mashed potatoes are basically the same. We won't put it, we may not put everything we put in the mashed potatoes in there, but you gotta see. <laughs> See them fried onions look good in there, I think. <laughs> we'll be definitely gonna end up using more <clears throat> more water because much that much. Okay guys, so now while that's going on, we're going to go ahead and put our butter in here. This is the butter. I'm gonna put some in here. Two to put a tablespoon or so. Because that's not that many. Let's see. More than a half healthy tablespoon. How <laughs> about that? Okay. And we're gonna go 
ahead and put some more water in that gravy. Okay, guys, so we put in another cup of water in there. And we use a lot of flour mixture. You're going to need a lot of water mixture. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. And while that's finishing up doing this little thing, we got to get on the roll. So you see, we're going to go ahead and put a teaspoon and a half of Lari salt and the mashed potatoes and a teaspoon and the um, gravy. About a teaspoon of black pepper and the mashed potatoes and about a teaspoon and the gravy. About a teaspoon of garlic powder and the gravy. And about a teaspoon and the mashed potatoes. About a teaspoon of onion powder and the gravy. And about a teaspoon of onion powder and the mashed potatoes. Okay, a teaspoon of Obey season in the gravy, but we won't put any in the mashed potatoes. About a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of Slap Your Mama Cajun, Cajun seasoning. And we'll put a drop in the mashed potatoes. <laughs> that we're going to put in this in the gravy except for we're going to put a dab of sugar in there. Actually, we're going to go ahead and put a dab of uh, sugar in there. Okay, so we're going to put a half a teaspoon of sugar in there. I almost forgot. We're going to put a dab of this um, sweet Baby Ray barbecue sauce in, in here. Give it a little tangy. We won't, definitely won't put that in the mashed potatoes, right? <laughs> a pinch of sugar. And we won't put any in the mashed potatoes. <laughs> no, we're definitely not going to put that in the mashed potatoes. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to tell you, we have, as far as the... Uh, well, okay, I have to pause you guys. Okay, here are the ingredients that I use in making my homemade burgers. I did not videotape it in this, um, as I was putting the burgers together in, on this particular video. Uh, but I do have uh, other videos, and these are the ingredients I use. And I do have other vi uh, another video that I recorded uh, about making homemade burgers. Um, I'm going to put a copy of that um, in the descriptions and in this video and also there will be a card up in the I believe the right hand side uh, towards the end of this video where you can click on and um, and if you want to go directly to that video all right we could make it a little thinner but we I think that's gonna be just fine that's ready Mmm, and it tastes delicious. <laughs> okay, guys, so all we got to do right now is just do the mashed potatoes, right? Y'all know that thing said, do the mashed potatoes. It's spicy, too, guys. <laughs> it is actually spicy. A mild spice. Just perfect, I think. Okay, now we're going to put a little bit of milk in it. That's the 1% milk. Guys, 
Can you see that? I hope my hands ain't in y'all way too much. I know it's in the way, but I hope it's not in your way too much. <laughs> so, pardon me. Put a little bit more, a little bit more milk in here. I would say that was like less than a third cup <laughs> total of milk. Because I only had like, I had five small potatoes. Well, four of them were actually almost the medium size. And one of them was definitely super small potatoes. And everything. You know, if you, uh, depending on the type of bowl you have, and that, and they'll go all the way down to the bottom of the bowl when you, or you just be careful when you're mixing it. Okay, all right. We got it now. We're going to taste this. That's all. I already tasted the gravy, and that's, that's like, that's cool. That's fine. Let's see what this says. Let's see if that put that down. Hmm. Honest to goodness, they're both are perfect in my book. You know, we have that own little views, right? About our taste situation. So, okay guys, so we appreciate you. Let me put you on pause and come back at you. Well, hi guys, everything is ready. Alrighty, so we got mashed, we're gonna have like, get you guys a nice burger, how about that? Okay, with a burger burger. And a little mashed potatoes. We're just gonna use this spoon. We are not gonna dirty up too much <laughs> too much uh, utensils or plates unnecessarily so guys is that enough okay and y'all want a little bit gravy on there y'all want just want the burger <laughs> and I like the burger by itself and the, and the mashed potatoes by itself. You guys decide. Do you want the mashed potatoes and, and the uh, <clears throat> hamburger by itself? Or do you want a little gravy over it? How about if I give y'all a little bit of gravy over it? Thank you for tuning in to Bonnie B. Hawkins Creative TV, guys. Yes, that's Bonnie B. Hawkins Creative TV. Alrighty. And let's see. I'm going to give y'all some little bit gravy over this. Sir. Okay. Hold on. There we go. A little boo-boo. Y'all see how, the me the, how I'm messing up things here? Y'all want a little gravy over it and I'm sitting here. Okay, how about that? Is that good? I say it's good. So, here we go. Okay, guys. So, again, I thank you for tuning into my channel. Be sure to like, 
share, subscribe, and comment if you wish. See you in the next video. From Bonnie B. Hawk of Creative TV. Okay, again, guys, here are the great ingredients that I used in making this um, homemade uh, hamburgers. And I do have a copy of it in the link in the description as well as in the top in the end of this video. Guys, I used the exact same thing I used in the gravy in this video. Except for, of course, I added the, um, the breadcrumbs and the, the egg mixture. Well, okay, guys, so here's a snapshot of the homemade uh, hamburgers that I made three weeks ago. If you'd like to view it, just go to that video. And again, I'd like to thank you all for watching Bonnie B. Hawkins Creative TV.